Hi, I'm Kendra from Catholic All Year, and today we're going to talk about bird feeders, nativity scenes, and the blessing of animals. What do they all have in common? It's St. Francis. If you're walking through a Catholic neighborhood, what are you going to see? Statues of Our Lady and St. Francis bird feeders. But why? Well, it's because St. Francis of Assisi is one of the best known saints of all time to people and birds alike. St. Francis was born in Assisi, Italy in the 12th century to wealthy Catholic parents. As a young man, he spent time as a soldier and then decided to renounce the life of luxury he had had as a child in favor of a life of prayer, sacrifice, and service to the poor. While in prayer at an old country chapel in San Damiano, Francis heard the voice of God coming to him from the icon of Christ crucified, saying, Francis, Francis, rebuild my house, which as you can see, is falling into ruin. Francis spent the next few years rebuilding ruined churches in the area. He gathered around him like-minded followers and eventually got permission from the Pope to start what became the Franciscan order. St. Francis had a great love for all of God's creatures and was known to practice his preaching by giving talks to the birds. It's said he was so compelling that they would fly down from the trees and perch on his shoulders to be able to hear him better. So that's where all the Catholic bird feeders come from. If you know me, you know I enjoy making complicated meals for feast days. But the Feast of St. Francis is a good example of the fact that, even for me, entertaining for saints days doesn't have to be fancy or complicated. Corn dogs, ants on a log, bear claws, and various animal-shaped cookies and crackers are all good ways to celebrate God's creation through snacks. So because of St. Francis' love for animals, there's a long history of doing a blessing of animals at parishes uh, in honor of the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. You can find the blessing, the text for the blessings in the Book of Blessings, or the Catholic All Year Prayer Companion. If your parish doesn't offer a, <laughs> if your parish doesn't offer a blessing for animals, uh, it's also appropriate for the head of the household to do a blessing of the family's animals at home. We like to split the difference and invite a priest friend and some neighbors over for a backyard blessing of animals. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. So reading from the Book of Genesis. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animal. And so we pray this prayer of blessing over our animals. O oh God, you have done all things wisely. In your goodness, you have made us in your image, given us care over other living things. Reach out with your right hand and grant these, that these animals may serve our needs and that your bounty in the resources of this life may move us to seek more confidently the goal of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. St. <laughs> Francis wrote a beautiful song of prayer called the Canticle of the Sun, in which he praises God through all of God's creation. It is believed to be the first piece of literature written down in the Italian language. According to tradition, the first time it was sung in its entirety was by Francis and two of his original companions on Francis' deathbed. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank you so much for watching this installment of the Catholic All Year Liturgical Living Show. And thanks as always to our sponsor, Ignatius Press. If you'd like to learn more about Catholic liturgical living in the home traditions, like a blessing for animals, you can read about that in the Catholic All Year Compendium. If you want the actual text of the blessing, 
as well as the doxology and the canticle of the sun. You can find that in the Catholic All Year Prayer Companion. Today, the books that we want to feature that you can get for 25% off for the rest of the month uh, at Ignatius.com are uh, Brother Francis of Assisi and the Lupio books. And uh, the code, the discount code will be in the description below. And it's good for 25% off at Ignatius.com. So Anita can tell us about Brother Francis of Assisi. Uh, Brother Francis of Assisi is a classic book by Tommy DePaola back in print. And it's uh, a really complete story of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Clair. Um, and it's good to read aloud to little kids or for middle kids to read themselves. And it's just a really fun book with great illustrations. And the Adventures of Lupio books, Frankie can tell you about those. Uh, this is a really cool book. It's uh, like comics, and I really like um, um, it's about uh, a boy named Lupio, uh, which, and he's friends with the wolf of Gubbio, and uh, St. Francis is in it, and, and uh, the sixth book is, uh, you can get it uh, now. Uh, Great one. 